Hello guys, I'm Delifix and welcome to X4 Reemergence. So I did actually go through some of these systems to get myself to Silent Witness where I want to continue some of the exploration. I actually got myself one of the Talati Company systems over here. Windfell is still Windfell. It's a lot of drugs, a lot of ice, a lot of stuff. Not too interesting, but... One of the things that I kind of forgot doing last time is actually check the ships in here, see if there's any changes. We have the kit, which is, man, you have two weapons, one shield, two engines, the locks, uh, it seems like three engines, one shield, two weapons, and the shiz, shif, whatever it's called, whatever it's pronounced. Uh, I like this ship quite a bit because it has two shield modules it has two engines and it's four frontal weapons so apart from the split i think this one actually has the most hull and therefore also the most shields correct me if i'm wrong in the comment sections i don't want to send out any more misinformation anyway guys still i hope you enjoyed the previous episode it might be an, a bit slow it was very late at night when I was recording the video because I felt bad for not releasing videos. I'll try to stick to my schedule, but please keep in mind that this is my hobby and I do have a very busy job as well as family life. So yeah, um, that all said, let's uh, let's go back. So we have a drill who wants a resource rope. I kind of got that one to be picked up because the nevarium is very very slow and this is not really going any fast if it just picks up a good chunk i might drop the satellite down here see if it gets a bit more than that but it is absolutely slow and i kind of want to not rely on the nevarium for too long uh, but then again, you know, the ore here is just not doing anything. It, it's sad. It very is. It is very, very sad. We have 900,000 currently, and that is great. We could potentially buy another ship. Uh, destroy car, any ship. I will just take it. We have the system. I know they will leak into Windfell every now and then. So if we hug one of these stations, we could potentially find means of destroying some of them uh not in this ship though not in this ship last time we already proved that the weapons are horrible and yeah not not sure if i want to go for another ship or just make sure that we get ourselves a transport ship uh, and go for the engine parts like i said last time i do need to figure out how many satellites it would need because i want the uh, the freighter to drop the satellites by itself. It takes a bit longer. But. Even though it takes a bit longer. I don't have to drop them. And this. Is a very extensive universe. So if I don't have to backtrack. Drop satellites. Then that's perfect. The Taladi. I also didn't go over these ships. See if there's anything. This one is. Oh, wait, we've seen it. Yeah, that's the uh, the carrier one. Yeah, that's cool. I like that ship a lot. Uh, flying brick. Uh, I think this is an old model, but I'm not sure. Transport. Oh, he looks cool. Yeah, he, he does. He's, he's a new one. Yeah, he definitely is a new one. You need, he, wait, you need a military license for a transport ship? That, that's new. It's not even a... What makes it so good then? I can't check out the loadout. So that's a bit of shame. Let's go to small. Uh, the Buzzard. The Falcon. Yeah. we, we, we I think there's no real... New one. This one isn't half bad. It has three weapons. Uh, three shields. Two engines. I think the mobility on this ship is quite decent. Uh, we also have the large shipyard over here. So I think we want to we want to find a way to get towards this particular station. We have the 
carrier and it is carrying a lot of ships would not mind having a ship like this is it still weak at the back oh it's very weak at the back if you just hide over here there's nothing that can hit you take out the engines but then again there's a lot of small ships over there uh, we have the Fulma. Okay, well. It seems they try tackling the weak spot. It looks cool though. One point. Wow, that's, that's a lot of hull. Uh, what else? Is this new? Not. No, we have already seen it. Stonk. Yeah. Mm. Albatross. The castaway, huh? Oh, okay. You got some large turret points over here. Oh, this is interesting. That's a flying fortress. Kind of like the design of it, though. It doesn't seem to have, like, the main battery. It's a frigate. Phoenix E. That does actually have the main weapons over there. Phoenix Vanguard. Yeah, well, it's the Taladi. I, I kind of never liked the Taladi ships. And I might be the only guy who doesn't. Uh, let us do a long-range scan. There is a gate over there, I know. It's not where I want to go. I say that. Maybe. But there's also some more stations that we do need to check out. So, how about this? I'll just go around taking a look at these stations. as, And then I will cut back. Uh, and I will try doing that with every system we're in. Unless something cool happens. Like, you know, the car system. Like, dropping into a fully armed Xenon uh, system would be quite cool. So, while actually doing the uh, discovery of the system, I decided to actually look into hull parts. And there's actually a very, very good deal. It's quite close to where we buy the hull parts, which is over here. So, right here, there is the syndicate. And if we can move into this direction, then... We can actually make a lot of money real fast by dropping a satellite down there and potentially down here as well because it's also 468. They need a shit ton of them <laughs> and he's selling a lot of them. And if we can just do that fast enough, the, uh, the refined metals might pick up, the ore might pick up and everything will be fine. So we have 1.1 million. We could also use two ships. Let's close this down. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. So we have one of them that will go into here towards these. If we can have another ship going over here. Then we could put... We, yeah, we will start building up with the Vic Syndicate. And we could potentially get that Sif. Let me know in the comments uh, which of the small vessels is cool to have as a fighter there's a lot of fighters um is that a fighter you're joking right anyways uh there's a lot of fighters who could be very very cool but i never know which one i want i'm, I'm a very uh a, a one trick pony is, is that a thing in english i don't know um anyways i always do the same thing and i kind of want to stay away from that this time so right here, it, this one has a hull of 9,000 and a shield of 12. And it's quite, I think, agile. The speed is also not bad at all, like almost 5,000. Now, if we go to the Argon Federation one, it's the Eclipse. It's, it's less shield. It's a bit faster. It's also not as agile, I think. Actually, let's do it like this. Uh, that's the Eclipse. Let's add the small... Uh, where the hell are you? 
uh, on the high preset, confirm. And let us add, what's the other one? Not the buzzard. We already have the eclipse. There is another one, a heavy, this, I think, yeah, this one. High preset. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have? So, in terms of shield, the Civ does the best. In terms of speed, as well as maneuverability, we should go Quasar. But, look at this. This is horrible. How much do these two compare? Let's, let's get rid of you. Okay, uh, we got a bit more missiles, but we're not going to be using any missiles on that. This is the same. That's the same. It's the same. So it's only the strafe speed that's increased. I think we need to go with an Eclipse Vanguard. Yeah, why not? An Eclipse Vanguard. How expensive... Is an Eclipse Vanguard. On a high preset. 3.1 million. Uh, weapons. No turrets. We have a heavy shatter. Which is. Deemed as a light class. Heavy variant of the shatter gun. Uh, provides a high damage output. At close range. So this is your shotgun weapon. And we have. A Hept, which is a high energy plasma thrower. Interesting. What is the projectile speed? That's actually not bad at all. Effective range 6.1. Not bad. Slow on the firing though. How expensive would that be on a low one? 1.5. Hmm. How about we get ourselves another transport? We have the money. We'll get... Uh, we need two satellites. Because there's these two wharfs. 1.8 to 10. 1.1? No, we need way less to 4. We'll have to... Um, Definitely change this. How, how are we actually getting money? We're not. Um, how about we do this? <laughs> I keep changing plans, I know. We'll wait until he buys again. And then when he has. Because that will... Uh, oh, I think... In, how, how expensive is that? Transaction log. He is at 75,000. So we don't have to wait. We now know it's 75,000. Bar ship. Medium, transport, low, two satellites. That would be, can add a few more. That's, that's, I think that's, that's just pushing it real quick. Uh, hull parts, that will be fine once our ship brings that in. Let's order that right now. So we'll set that one up to go from this hull part factory into the SIF syndicate. And yeah, I think that's a really easy way to get some good, good money going. Because it's it's easy. We're also really hugging this um, hull part factory. Apparently it's a hull part factory. I still don't know what OTAS is. Um, I'm going to assume it's just an added race. We have an accelerator. We have an, an active jump gate. Other than that, what a boring system this is. So we'll set course over there. We'll try to make our way towards the, uh, the profit center alpha. Just so we can potentially sell hull parts over here but we have the um the taladi version of it right that's taladium i think taladium is the um the equivalent of the hull parts but there could be memorizing it wrong let's get out of that yeah can we just just fly oh come on identifying criminal 
terminal vessels. Uh, let's auto pilot because I am not sure. Oh, there we go. Hey, disable your auto pilot because that's asteroids. You don't want the AI to fly through an asteroid belt. It is stupidly slow. You could turn off the uh, collision. Uh, <laughs> oh, but if you like being... Well, actually, you could turn it off and then, you know, enjoy being stuck in areas. I did see that blink. But, yeah, I still don't like crystals at all. So, let's try finding a way into the Taladi territory. I was told to not focus on one particular empire and I won't uh, let's pause for a second where are we light of heart Otas likes me they're white that's good enough okay let's take a look I, st I love this ship though it's so cool That's a very nice model. One engine, so it's probably a bit slower. It has... It seems like large shields, large turrets, also some small ones. Two docks. Does it have frontal weapons? Doesn't seem to be the case, but the model is absolutely gorgeous. I really love that. What else do we have in this system? So that is the patrol... Astraeus. How about you? Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. I like the design. Don't really like the color scheme. Feels a bit off. You. Oh yes, I love that. That is so good. Oh, sorry for the zooming in. It's it's. I got it on my joystick, and it's. Ooh, look at that! Six engines, medium docking. Does it have small docking as well? Yeah, three of them over here. One, two, three. Turrets. And there is there's something in let's 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 hide the hut. There is something hiding in there. Yeah, that's a frontal weapon. Oh yeah, I like that. I really think this is a very nice looking ship. Yeah, I love it. I, I might just um side with these guys. I don't know if I can, because like I said, I don't know the faction. Seems they uh, are at war with the Argon Federation. Am I right on that? Uh, Argon Federation. Well, they're definitely enemies. So what is Otas? Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Yeah, that, that this revolt... That I would need to read. And I'm not good at that. Optimized technologi technology... Armament and Shield Corporation, commonly known as OTAS, is a omni corporation specialized in the design and manufacture of advanced spaceships. That's that's really cool. Just prior to the Great Collapse, or the launch an attack. I'm very interested in seeing what they're about. Anyways, let's um, quickly go through this system. I'm going to assume there's a gate. But, you know, assumptions are the mother of all... Well, oh, fuck-ups. System, light of heart. They're at least not angry with me, which is always good. Okay, what do we have? Uh, let me... Um, wow, there's a lot. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll scout through the system real quick. Okay, so we actually have ourselves a Tempest over here, which is a battleship. And 
Yeah, once again, guys, I find myself absolutely loving, loving the design of these ships. It's so good. Look at that. I kind of want to, I want like five of them right now. Shit ton of engines, some medium docks, large shields, heavy, heavy turrets. This looks like a, um, like one of these ships that you would send to do some planetary annihilation, stuff like that. Look at that image. That is so cool. Man, what a ship. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, right now, like, I'm halfway through the system and I just needed to show you this particular ship before I, like, missed it. I know there's another gate over there. So, we'll just quickly do these three. In terms of trade... Um... Can't zoom in and out right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're selling, but... Not really as well, right? Let's get rid of that guidance. That's a gate. That seems like a system. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll come back when I'm actually done. Well, I'm I'm done, and there is absolutely nothing of interest. Not even missions. Um, we did find the equipment dock, and yeah, well, that's not even exciting either. Uh, hopefully, this will lead us over there. So, uh, the also the Vanguard is done. So I send it to go drop the satellites at the Vic Syndicate Wharfs and then dock up with the Hull Part Factory. Now, this pilot is actually not half bad. These two stars, he's actually going towards his three stars, which is very, very nice. I do really like that. So I'm, I'm wondering if the um, leveling up rate of the pilots is higher in here. Maybe, just just maybe, I don't know. Let me know if there is, um, if these pilots level up faster or not. Because I would really love that. I kind of hate how slow pilots level up. It doesn't have to be as fast oh, no, as, um, I don't know if you okay. guys see, have seen my uh, the Star Wars series that I'm doing. But, you know, it, they level up very fast in there. But with vanilla, it's, it's very, very slow. Uh, it seems Entering that we system. actually, center alpha. yeah, we actually did go over here, which is great. Uh, let's put on trade. There is still a good need for hull parts. Never mind. That means that Taladium is a replacement for the refined metals. And I was just confused for a moment. Uh, I'll um, go to the wolf. Engaged. Then we'll scout out. We need to find ourselves. Yeah, we're going to be tanking this uh, hull part factory a lot. And that will drive the price up quite a bit. Now, how much would we be willing to buy it for? Because uh, we also need to get some crew on this. Uh, we're buying in at 160, huh? I think 160 is a fair price. It's still a bit low as you see it over here, usually like halfway and then one third is the maximum. And then sell it for like two thirds. If you set up a station, stuff like that. We need to find ourselves a good second hull part factory. Uh, for now, mass transporter. let's F. kill this mass transporter. Hopefully get some reputation and i'll just quickly scout around well unfortunately for us this um this system is not too interesting except for a few gates and i also found them over here so i found a lot of buccaneer ships coming out of here so i'm going to assume there's a buccaneer system there is actually skill plate being assaulted that's interesting. Let's go and assist because we do have a mission, I believe. Uh, I think it's bounty. Yeah, skill plate. Um, 
I don't think we're going to be in time, but potentially. Raider. Autopilot. What do you want? Surrender. This isn't worth this. Failing. Wait, you kidding? <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, please. Wow, that's lucky. That is very, very lucky. I like it. Okay, let's see um, if it's still worth it. Well, well, we got ourselves a ship. And I didn't actually mean to. It's it's one of those turret ships, which, um, you know. They're okay-ish. Sir. Yeah, you're going to be uh, staying over there. Please don't maroon me again. Um, scanning mode. Oh, where's the entrance of this thing? Minotaur, Raider. Let's take a look. I think it's somewhere around here. Yeah, I'm not going to manually repair it. It still has its um, shield, so that's good. Engines as well. I think we might just end up selling it. Yeah, oh, there it is. Buzzard, Vanguard. Out of docking range, Minotaur, Raider. Alright, let's, um, let's, of course. Oh, okay. That's not bad. It seems that. We have, well, this ship has no means of defending itself. Oh wait, you are absolutely seriously marooning me again. Removal orders and assignment. I want you to follow until further notice and we are setting course over there. Turn off the autopilot. Engaged. Let's see how much we can sell this for. This, this could potentially help us get that new ship we wanted and then we can use the uh, the nova vanguard to drop satellites everywhere if we want to and how far is this ship black hole sun oh he is currently going to dock okay you don't have to i want you to on a repeat order of um i want you to buy from all parts, uh, I think it's Auto 160. Pilot. Disengaged, and then sell in windfall all parts like 400. Can we just click that? Thank you, appreciate it. Confirm. Uh, waiting for signal. You don't have to wait for a signal. Just just do it. Docking can go. He's current okay, there you go. Executing trade. Docking. Nice. So how much did he take? He take it it took like seventy five thousand, just as much as the other one. So that's three hundred and nineteen, that's six hundred that no, we're we're starting. We're absolutely starting. This has been a waste of time. Very much so. Um, I do actually expect... Let's get rid of, the, uh, of this stuff. Refine metals. 92. Yeah. See? Now it's starting to go. 31,000. I think we could dedicate... A freighter. I hate it when it does that. It, it's not... 
once it sells, it, this uh, orange icon actually disappears. But until then, <laughs> anyways. Uh, Wharf. Let's go. Docking granted. Let's go dock. Does it have a docking computer? It flies actually not bad. How much would it be to... No, I wouldn't. Oh, it actually has a docking computer mark too. The Nova Vanguard, I want you to dock and wait. All right, let's see. How much would it be? Docked. It has a... Comp uh, wow. Um, that's a million. Welcome. Yeah, we're selling the ship. Uh, let's go for that one. And that one. Yeah, I don't... I'm not going to repair it. That's a million. That is that ship that I wanted. Uh, let's get up. Minotaur. Oh. Raider. We didn't have to shoot it, and the bailing option p worked perfectly. Uh, did the Nova dock? I think it did, yeah. Nova, Vanguard. Uh, we do need to repair it. We have a lot of satellites. Got some crew. Confirm that order. Did I? Yeah, I did it well. Okay, cool. Uh, let's undock. Now, one million is not enough. Let's set Autopilot. course over Engage. towards the jump gate, see what's behind door number one. Eventually, we do need to backtrack. See what happens. Uh, let us quickly buy a, another transport ship on a low preset. We don't need satellites. We already know where we want them to go. Can we do full complement of crew? Yes, we can. Confirm that. It will eventually get the hoppers. We do want to fill up all of the... The crew positions on all of our ships. Just in the off chance that we get a very good pilot. And also for these guys to start leveling up. Being uh, service crew members, managers, stuff like that. Well, okay. That and uh, Trinity Sanctum. So I was actually hoping... that I'm going to assume there's more Talali in the center. Let me um, quickly do the scouting stuff and see if there is something interesting. There's a good amount of systems. Uh, it seems like a trade depot over here. Is that so? It's actually a ship, a wharf. Nice. Cool. Um, see you when I'm ready. Okay, so again, not too interesting. There's actually two gates in this system. Um, I like It's free. We have a lot of exploring to do. So uh, the other Vanguard is done. And I decided to set it up to buy and sell the refined metals from over Black Hole Sun 4 to Black Hole Sun 5. And that's just to make sure this hull part factory does keep its supplies going. Uh, it's not going to be the highest amount of profit. Although I do think I could potentially still ramp up the profit on this. I'm buying in at... Uh, 110 max. That will definitely uh, increase Auto or decrease. Pilot. Not sure yet. But the buy-in price might change. So eventually we'll probably have to go over the prices. I'm hoping one is going to be enough to keep these other two refined uh, hull part ships busy. We're making a lot of money. As you can see already we are really not doing badly. Uh, in the last, let's show less. Uh, a million over here, that's from selling. Yeah, look at that, that's nice. Profit, profit. Not bad, not bad at all. So yeah, we are definitely picking up the pace. I'm looking forward to see how much money we can start making. Now, before I end off the part, uh, let's check out, uh, let's pause also, uh, the medium ships... We have uh, the Gongo Vanguard. That actually looks very nice. 
uh, the carrier like all of the other one the nemesis vanguard that's actually not bad a ship at all it's uh it's really quite decent as for the small one we have the errors uh i think we all know these yeah i think we do let's get into the shipyard real quick excel we have the delmos battleship Yeah. Okay, I guess. I guess. I guess. Uh, the Zeus E. The. I think all of these we know, right? The Atlas, the Atlas E, the Atlas Vanguard. I just don't don't like these ships at all. Uh, do you have the Odyssey? Is they're like they they're like high hair dryers and that just puts me off. I don't know why. Anyways, maybe this one is different. Yeah. Well, okay, the ships. Uh I preset 20 million. Yeah, I just it's not my cup of tea. You, you can argue with that. I'm sure I, I'm I'm sure there's a lot of you who really love the pyramid ships i'm just not one of them uh, looking forward to actually go full circle the where we can find more raiding opportunities i'm going to assume we're getting a lot of these ships going eventually we need to start renaming them to say like hull parts refined metals hull parts stuff like that, so we know what they're doing but that's something for later for now thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time have a good one bye bye